Did anyone else see her just come in? Sorry, what? Oh, okay, she walked on. <laughs> I've just noticed it's a really full crowd. That's really nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. Hello, how are we all? If you are new to my channel, I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, and today I will be reacting to and analysing The Weeknd and Ariana Grande's performance of Save Your Tears. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you. I've already sort of seen this performance through other reactors' eyes. This is a thing when you're kind of really interested in the voice and watch other reactions and analysis of <laughs> singers. You kind of tend to see other people talking about it, right? Normally I'm quite good at waiting to watch another reaction to said video after I've kind of recorded my version of it. This was not the case with this. I will pop down in the description below some links of other people, other reactors reacting to this performance. Hege is one of them. She is a very close YouTube friend of mine and go and check her stuff out and go and give her a little subscribe. Quite a few of you wanted me to react to this and give my thoughts, give my analysis, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> If you haven't already, please do go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Click that bell button to be notified anytime I post. And let's get on and listen to this duo. There's such an ease to his voice. It's so like, you can tell that there's this grounded level. There are some notes that kind of you and you've got that kind of vocal fry kind of onset to it, which kind of therefore proves that he has got a balanced voice. It's not just the larynx kind of being pushed or lifted a little bit too, uh, too much to create that higher kind of frequency, higher kind of pitch uh, tone in his voice. But actually we have got that balance from below. We've got that relaxed, relaxed, I was going to say relaxation, but that didn't make sense. We've got that relaxed position of the mouth as well, and you can feel that everything is just really spacious and lovely. And that's like, you know, you can just sit back and just... It's got this. I love how he's holding the mic as well. It's super relaxed and casual as well, which goes with the voice. Notice his lips on tears. We're not tears, we're not spreading. Everything's still quite pouty. And that helps us be to be on top of the notes. So we're not gonna be flat. This is obviously a live performance. Sometimes that does happen. So we've got to, we only have one take when we're live, right? We can't just re-record things. So we've got to make sure that we're lifted and not going to go flat. quite a tricky part. I know like everyone knows that part. Da, 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 da. That section, believe it or not, is in the first passage, kind of going towards the end of our first passage for our lower voices, our male identifying voices. So we have to be blending, we have to be mixing, and we can hear that as well. Everything's really light, we've still got that chest resonance in there. We're not pulling, we're not reaching. We are smoothly going through that. And that's, if, if anyone is a bit confused as to what this mix voice is, what is this mix? We obviously only have one voice, but it's just how we blend registers together, blend sounds together to get a color that we kind of want in our voice. Here we are very light, very lifted, so smooth. <laughs> So good. I don't know why I run away. Yes, yeah, there's lots of chest presence in there, really. I make you cry when I run away. Yeah, a little bit of cry. Oh. Girl, take me back. Give your voice a little rest, let everyone else sing. Why not? Love that. <laughs> I've mentioned this before. I love all these kind of throwaways that singers do. Hey, you, woo! Because it's a way of kind of resetting our voice. It's a little, little trick if you realize it or not. <laughs> it might not or every single time be a little trick. Like, you know, you're not going, oh, I'm going to woo right here just to make sure that my like, space, my vocal tract, everything is kind of reset, right? It's not that, 
it is just an expressive sound. And most of the time we are just like really happy. Yeah, woo, we just, <laughs> we just love that. But it's just a really great technique as well because it does reset our voice ready for the what's next. Did anyone else see her just come in? Sorry, what? Like, huh? When did, how did this get? Oh, It's really nice because we're hearing her sing quite low and we don't necessarily hear that with a lot of her songs really really lovely those first few phrases seemed a little bit breathy and that's her signature kind of style you know she she has a very well connected voice ariana grande but she chooses to sometimes sing with a breathy onset that's because she can she has the choice to kind of put that extra little flair extra little flavor on there <laughs> What that means though, when we're especially down in our chest register, in our lower register, it just means that we're not getting a full vocal closure. They're not closing all the way every single time because we're allowing a little bit of excess breath coming through. And then when we're down here, we want to get in our chest register, in our lower notes, we want to get as close as we can to our authentic speaking voice because then we're not pushing for anything. We're not kind of manipulating that larynx and forcing a sound out. We're kind of keeping it very natural to how we talk because the muscles are already there and then that way we're not putting too much pressure on us, growing in tension or anything. When we move on to the second part of her beginning phrases, we do hear a lot more of a vocal closure. Let's see if we can notice that. taking a few breaths in between those words then save those two which is really odd i don't know if i can just i don't know if that was just uh, uh maybe they were taking a breath each and it was fine <laughs> i don't know if it was just one person this is a great duo as well isn't it like i mean i've seen some of the comments as well just like great duo ah uh you're not wrong it's great let's go let's go What's also nice is that they're both staying true to them as solo acts, as solo artists, what they both bring to a performance. That's really lovely as well. They're not trying to like change one another, uh, tell each other what to do. They're very much their indiv individual artists, right? But together, they're stronger because they're cheering each other on. They're really listening to each other and allowing each other to be themselves. No one's kind of going over another, one another. So that's really nice to see. Let's just let's just look at that larynx position. I'm such a <laughs> what should we focus on? The larynx. <laughs> so relaxed. Nothing literally she she comes off of that note and it's not like it goes <laughs> it's already. So here's the thing with whistle notes. <laughs> whistle register, the highest register. We have to think of things whenever you're kind of, if you're someone who, you know, really loves Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey, all these people that have uh, whistle notes in their songs and you're wanting to experiment with this, please, please, please stay relaxed. <laughs> One, we want to make sure that we're relaxed because as soon as we start pulling, tensing, forcing notes out, the extrinsic muscles kind of really get tense and we can feel that push and that force everything else kind of gets in the way yes they might want to help us but it's just going to be hurtful and painful in the long run number two 
don't try and push that volume out. Stay quiet. It's in the highest uh, register that we have, one of the highest registers that we have. So think of our vocal folds. If we are in thick folds down here in our chest register, as we kind of go higher, the vocal folds will start to thin out. As we go even higher, they're on the thinnest that they can be. So there's not a lot of area to be kind of pushing that volume out, right? We're very, very thin. Work on it very quietly. Just as I would advise in any other area of your voice to work through it quietly first. Definitely up here. Don't push anything. But have fun. Experiment. See what noises you can do. <laughs> oh, that was nice. So we kind of went into a full belt territory, full mixed belt there on that save your tears and then we swept, well that was not the note. <laughs> on tears we flipped up into our head voice. Let's just listen to that one more time. That was really nice. I'm back on another day, yeah. Oh, that was really nice. That smile as well. I really like that. <laughs> that was just another really nice example of kind of the admiration that both of them hold for another. I love that kind of call and response echo. I love the little head shake as well that we have while watching Ariana Grande. It's really cute. Yes, rip it. lovely unison ending there. Both of their voices really complement each other as well. Like I said, no one's kind of overshadowing, over kind of singing, uh, overpowering. That's what I think the word I was looking for. <laughs> They're not competing to get the limelight. They are both are separate artists in their own rights and like uh, great artists in their own rights as well. And they bring that to this and they bring a great dynamic duo, duo dynamic. I cannot talk today. I'm really happy I watched that in full and I could talk to you about what I was hearing, discuss things with you. I hope that you picked something new up. A little advice I would give from today's video is probably something I've said before, but experiment with your voice, the sounds you create every single day. They can benefit your voice if you are a singer yourself. Just listen record yourself see what's out there see what feels right and go with that so much to explore with your voice <laughs> thank you so much for watching today's video if you are new here please go ahead and click the subscribe button the bell button and the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and i shall see you very soon i ended that really weird i didn't say bye and now i mean now i need to say the whole thing again ah uh, i won't i'll see you very soon <laughs> bye